Manipur Chief Minister N. B. Rain today inaugurated the newly restored Irang Bali Bridge along Infal Jiribam Road in Tamalong District. At the event, Chief Minister also laid the foundation stone of the RCC Bridge over Irang River. He assured that the RCC Bridge would be dedicated to the public within one year. JSC against forced construction of Mapitel Dam and Mapitel Dam affected headmen, chiefs and elders organization has announced bund along Imphal Ukru Road and Imphal Kamjong Road on December 7 to 10. MDAH CEO Vice Chairman Thanmi Remain said the bun is in protest against the failure of the state government to provide compensation under economic livelihood rehabilitation packages and RR program to villages affected by Mapitel Dam by December 5. Chingtam Sports and Social Development Association CSSDA and ND Hill Private Limited kicked off a football tournament today at Chadong New Site under Kamjong District. The tournament will continue till December 5. Rajya Sabha MP Lysemba Sanajauba attended the inaugural function. A one-day artificial insemination awareness program was held today at Doribari of Kangpokpi district. The program was shelled under Integrated Cooperative Development Project Scheme. Regional Research Institute of Homeopathy, RRI, and the Central Council of Research in Homeopathy, Minister of Ayush, Government of India, today provided immune boosters, hand sanitizers, and face masks to the staffs of Tom TV. RRI Senior Research Fellow Dr. Gauri Nthausam handed over the items to Tom TV Joint Editor Thongam Sunil at the channel's office located at Uripok Info. All Arunachal Pradesh Students' Union AAPSU has expressed serious concern over a news report that China would build a major hydropower project on the Brahmaputra River in Tibet under its 14 5-year plan. As per the report, the plan is scheduled to be implemented from next year. The AAPSU in a statement said it has taken the news report very seriously as the same has been published by the Global Times, which is incidentally a state-owned media agency in China. All eyes are on December 3 talks between the center and agitating farmer union after the dialogue failed to end the standoff over the new farm laws yesterday. The 35 farmer leaders held a three-hour meeting with the ministerial delegation, but the farmers union rejected the government's offer to set up a committee to look into issues raised by them and said they will intensify their stir until the demands are met. India's COVID-19 tally rose to 94,99,450 with 36,440 new cases yesterday. The number of recoveries surged to 88,89,585 according to the latest Health Ministry data. A media report said the death toll climbed to 1,37,621.